Brought to you by... Who doesn't want to surprise their children on Christmas? What child doesn't love Santa Claus? Who doesn't schedule to have a strange man break into their house and assault their wife while they go out to a poker game? This short film, Santa for Hire, has it all. Let's review. couple decides to hire a Santa for their son on Christmas Eve, in Santa for Hire. This one comes from Ritter Films, and kicks off by saying, Based on your silly childhood when you thought Santa was fucking real. A quote that ultimately bears no weight when held up to the events that follow. The performances in this one were actually very strong. Our characters playing off one another like a true married couple. Their interactions were genuine, and their dialogue flowed pretty well. Though the narrative itself doesn't make the most sense, at least until the reveal at the end. I love the fact that this fucking guy books an interview for this Santa for Hire, then fucks off to a poker game and leaves his wife to deal with some strange man showing up at their house. Obviously, he couldn't have predicted what would really happen, but still, the nerve of this guy. Visually, this one is presented with beautifully smooth camera work and great lighting design that actually made the film feel like the setting was a lived-in environment, decorated for the holidays, as opposed to an overly lit film set. Generally, with an idea like this, you expect it to go one of two ways, either for it to quickly diverge into a generic slasher experience, or the whole Santa is real and he's evil trope. This sort of chose to go a completely different route. I have to admit that this film ultimately didn't play out the way I was expecting it to. I originally was expecting a run-of-the-mill slasher experience, but what I experienced here was much closer to a twisted thriller. I definitely wasn't expecting the rape fantasy angle to rear its ugly head, because that is not the sort of story you normally see told in a short film format. I think because of this curve in the narrative, I definitely didn't expect its twist ending, which in the grand scheme of twists, wasn't all that revolutionary or anything, but did take me a bit by surprise. Overall, I have to give this one props for taking me in a direction that I did not expect to go. It didn't deliver what I wanted from it, but it was well made and presented me with a story that I had not seen before in a horror short. I have to give Santa for Hire a C+. I don't know if I would really recommend this to many, but it's a breath of fresh air if you watch a ton of short films like I do. I would give it a chance if you feel so inclined. With that, we are going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed this one, I hope you stay tuned for more short film reviews in the future. If you feel so inclined with the spirit of giving this year, please consider supporting ETF over on Patreon. I hope you all stay safe and have a happy holiday.